Hello friends, uh, in today's demonstration I am trying to make a quick uh, watercolor on a cartridge paper. This is just the normal drawing sheet sort of paper and uh, not, not uh, uh, ideal for watercolors but since it is a practice I am trying to do it on this paper and the sheet is, uh, the size is uh, half imperial size. Uh, means uh, uh, 22 by 15 inch it's a reasonably a big sheet of paper and uh, see this paper dries very fast so you should be acting pretty quick so if you can get things done uh, on this paper uh, on this cartridge paper uh, reasonably well I think your speed can improve a lot and uh, that can be a good thing uh, when you do the watercolors on watercolor paper right so here I have pre-wet the paper on the sky area and I am applying uh, light washes of cobalt blue leaving some white spaces which I think may act as some clouds okay. so just trying to judge the colors uh, the shapes of uh, I mean the shapes of uh, the clouds and uh, going down so I, I don't have very clear idea of uh, uh, how the scene should look like there is no drawing uh, made it is just a sort of a random practice okay. I think uh, we should even be faster on this paper things are uh, some patches are showing up so I haven't used this paper for quite a while so I think we could go a little faster uh, yeah. right I'm thinking here what should we do at the bottom mm. around the land part how it should be see whenever I'm slow probably I'm thinking what to do okay so here we got a reasonable sky Okay, some some hints of clouds here and there, uh, and uh, we have marked some area for the land. And if we are doing some darker clouds or darker touches on the sky, we should do it now because the paper is not still dry, but it might dry it, it might get dry very f soon. So we have to do it fast. So mixing some uh, darker color using uh, cobalt blue and uh, violet or mauve sort of uh, colors so that is, this might work as a darker cloud that is what I feel and I wanted to preserve some play of light on the area which is already white so let the white area which is left out in the previous wash let that act as some source of light some light peeping in some softening of the clouds uh, I, I feel that the paper is much drier dry than what I have thought of uh, but still trying to manage maybe I will have to apply some uh, spray of water to keep to retain some level of uh, wetness on the paper because uh, I am getting some patches here. If it was a watercolor paper, I would not have got it. But this is a cartridge paper. So, it dries pretty quick. Uh, so, I think we will have to we, uh, we will have to kindly, I mean, we will have to slightly move the paper here and there I have sprayed some water and I am trying to control the flow of uh, the mist so that we get some some more interesting cloud right now it is the time for the ground so I am using yellow ochre wash for the ground and some area of white I am leaving around the edge just to get some interest right i think we'll have to make a little thicker color now mixing with burnt sienna 
and making it a little bit darker as we reach towards the foreground. I'm using flat brush which is uh, uh, maybe one and a half inch. It's a reasonably big brush. Okay, so uh, we will have lesser control when we when we work with big brushes. We will have lesser control, but the paper is big and uh, we have to finish it quicker so we have to use, go for larger brushes so I'm using a regular white plate as a palette because I, I have very limited color here I have the cobalt blue violet little bit of more burnt sienna and yellow ochre I think uh, this will be the kind of colors that I'll be using to finish this work. I'm yet not very clear exactly what I will be doing here. I just, since I didn't have any idea, so maybe I just decided to progress with suggesting some water. Okay. Uh, maybe what the idea I have in my mind is some boat okay, a couple of people etc not making it very complicated but i think uh, above the around the horizon we need something to connect the land and the sky so i'm making some bluish brown light color as some distant mountain or hill etc It's just some way of connecting the ground and the sky. Maybe I think we I need some more uh, distant mountains to sort of balance. So we need a lighter tone and suggest another background uh, hill sort of thing. Again it is drying fast so some uh, often I am spraying uh, some water just to retain some wetness. It is difficult with cartridge paper, uh, it dries too quick. Mixing lighter color okay, for the uh, further far away hill. I am not cutting out, editing out any, any portions, so some of the time we may have to wait for decision making, judgment etc. See the tones we have to judge, uh, anywhere we need to take a decision I may have to think. So a couple of seconds will be lost in that process. I could have taken out or removed those. Uh, time gaps but I thought of keeping uh, doing minimum editing for this particular video okay. I, think, I think that is fair enough okay. now we need some boats okay. let us make some some big boats and maybe some smaller boats Right. Some lifting of some colors there, and just to have some play of light. Okay. Now I think uh, here uh, I have lost uh, a few, uh, maybe uh, one or two minutes of video. Okay. So uh, where I have made two big boats. It's just a suggestion of uh, two boards with some shadow and uh, reflection. Okay, now I think this uh, this occupies is the the prime focus of uh, this particular work. And uh, if we add a couple of figures, maybe maybe two two people doing something on the boat. Okay, so 
so that is the idea and maybe a couple of smaller boats later so one person facing this side maybe another person uh, with a darker color uh, facing the other side okay. they both are working on the boat these figures are just uh, some suggestions right they are not very precise suggesting some reflection for those figures these tiny reflections will suggest that okay uh, that will create the illusion of uh, that being water at the bottom okay I, i think some more some more elements we need to ask add we need some more elements to make it look uh, look a little bit of complete okay some tiny suggestions for the hands face etc uh, maybe a pole supporting thing on the for the boat and i think we need to place a reflection also for this so some suggestion of uh, reflection okay. now i don't don't overwork something on the boat on which those two people are working i think that's it for the these two main boats uh, maybe uh, maybe we have to work on the smaller boats now okay then smaller boats needs to be slightly lighter in color because they are smaller means they are a little bit far away so lighter color and some boats maybe it is it is anchored on the it is on the land not touching the water so there won't be any reflection the just shadows just small suggestions some shadows ah, some some poles so we need to keep the land little bit occupied or busy so that is the reason we are putting some tiny bit tiny suggestions here and there maybe a couple of uh, small tiny figures okay and so that the scene looks little bit more active okay. i think we are getting much closer to the end yeah, maybe one more so once we start working on the details there is a tendency that you may keep on adding more and more details and that might in fact spoil the work so we have to be little bit careful when we add details we will have to deliberately stop at some point here i am i probably tempted to add more and more details to make it with the with the objective that i'll make it more attractive more communicating but it always doesn't work that way if you add more and more details there is a fair chance that it may get spoiled and we may lose the beauty of it i think we are pretty much done now uh, we will we will stop adding any more details and uh, we can treat this as complete okay thanks for watching we will see in next video bye